all right y'all we're back and with the 30th anniversary playstation collection that um finally went on pre-order live there have been some customers with some issues with their orders being canceled and it's probably for preventative measures due to the scalpers and the resellers getting to it you know for the wrong reasons but yeah their orders have been getting canceled from my understanding this whole situation has been interesting and tricky at the same time because because you never know why a lot of these things are happening you truly never know what a company's intentions are the purpose of doing things is for though but um so i got an article from comicbook.com talking about playstation 30th anniversary collection orders being canceled for whatever reason though man but before we get started with this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, like, comment something, and let's get to 10,000 subs though, man. Roll to 10K subs, but let's get to it. All right, shout out to comicbook.com. And this is from Tyler Fisher. PlayStation may be canceling PS5 Pro 30th anniversary pre-orders. Mm, that might be a bold statement. I feel like maybe some of the orders are being canceled for preventative measures, who knows? All right, some PlayStation fans are waking up on the PS5 Pro 30th anniversary pre-orders canceled. PlayStation may be canceling PS5 30th anniversary collection pre-orders. Yesterday at the PlayStation Direct, pre-orders went live for the PS5 30th anniversary collection alongside pre-orders for the PS5 Pro. And as PlayStation fans expected, it was a disaster. Because I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. 30th anniversary is a big deal, man. What do you expect? yeah like I, i'm it's not really a big surprise but you know you gotta give you gotta give them leeway though man and it was a disaster because everyone was trying to buy the same thing yeah of course because it's going to make the system it's going to make the system crash it's going to make the site crash and um you never know who's all trying to get into that site and anticipate massive demand for the product sony baffling limited it to just twelve thousand three hundred units making it near impossible to buy that product is the PlayStation 5 Pro Console 30th Anniversary Limited Edition Bundle, which sold out instantly. That said, those lucky enough to get their hands on the console may soon find an email in their inbox with a cancellation notice. So anybody um, from the last video that commented saying that they got through, they got the confirmation email, check your email right now. Check the spam, check your, your inbox. And make sure that you didn't get that cancellation email because that would suck for you to think that you're getting a 30th anniversary collection and then you realize weeks later because you didn't check your email that you're not getting it now because it's being canceled due to high traffic on the site due to them trying to block the 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 scammers i'm gonna just say scammers scalpers scalper scammers they go hand in hand just for that reason though man but check your inbox and make sure that you still have the your confirmation and make sure it wasn't canceled all right over the playstation reddit page ps5 fans have begun to relay word that they have received cancellation notices why they are receiving these notices is currently unclear but more than one user has reported the issue one user specifically revealed they contacted playstation support about the matter however they didn't get much help according to the user playstation support have no clue what happened man okay i'm gonna call cap man they they know what happened well you know what i take that back maybe customer service don't know doesn't know what happened because they're just on the customer service side i don't think they're they have anything to do with the actual orders going out so they probably are just there answering questions now if we're talking about dang what's it is it techno man i'm trying i'm trying to give them the the benefit of the doubt but yeah though maybe the higher ups and maybe the people that's running that department maybe they know what's going on as if like if, if now if you're telling me that they didn't know what was going on like the the maybe was it technical support or whatever in that department if they you saying they don't know nah they know what's going on they know because it's high traffic and that's what happens whenever happens whenever you have so many people trying to get the same thing and then you got to realize like i think it's an automated system i don't think there's 12,300 people handling these orders one by one i don't think so this is a automated system streamlined or whatever so yeah i feel like the system is probably going to kick back and give it give errors if they feel like something is going on fishy you know systems like that are built like that or whatever protect the customer from you know um scams from um 
what's the word what's the word protect the customer from um data breaches and stuff and and bot programs but yeah though man it's i hate that this collection is going this way though man because it's such an iconic kind of collection even though it's happened before though but yeah though man like if you a customer spending your hard-earned money you should get what you pay for on the bright side that lets you know that sony has a good product sony playstation is a good product and people wouldn't be trying to buy this if it wasn't a good product man so shout out to sony so shout out to sony man you know they put out quality products i still think the playstation 5 is a good system in the email it says the order was canceled because the payment method doesn't work meanwhile in the account it cites fraud cancellation this may indicate the bank denied the transfer and review suspecting a suspicious uh, purchase likely because of the high cost of the purchase to the end, PlayStation fans who put in orders on PlayStation Direct may want to contact their bank to go ahead of the potential problem. That's, that's definitely not on Sony. That's on the buyer. That is on the buyer because if you are usually not buy, like paying a thousand dollars for stuff and then you're going out of no coming out of nowhere buying that yeah your bank is they're going to decline it of course because you're not normally by making big purchases like that so that's normal that is a safety measure because they think it is a fraudulent um purchase so yeah though man i understand now i get it now it's starting to make more sense that's why people's orders are being canceled or whatever i don't it has nothing to do with playstation it is strictly because people are making purchases that they that are out of their their budget range or making purchases that that they normally don't make or whatever so yeah this is very suspicious or it could just be the system is acting up and it's high traffic we gotta look at things from both sides both perspectives you never know what the reason why orders were canceled but i'm willing to bet that it's because of high traffic everybody trying to buy the same thing unfortunately at the moment we are missing too much information to know what is definitively uh, going on whatever the case some playstation fans are ending up with cancel orders with no way to resolve the issue because the product is now out of stock that sucks of course this highlights the problem with these ultra limited releases which leave more fans disappointed than anything else to this end it remains unclear why sony has limited the special ps5 pro to just 12,300 units it is possible it could release more stock in the future but it has made no suggestions that this is the plan furthermore that is typically not how this ultra limited releases work Oh, wow, that sucks, man. That's the thing that sucks about, about stuff like this because when your order gets canceled, usually when you buy something and your order gets canceled, you can literally, you get a text message to your phone and it tell, asks you, did you make this purchase? You, you uh, respond back with, yes, cool. You go back and make the purchase again. Since this is a limited uh, release or a pre-order release, you can't just go back and buy it again because now it's sold out because it's sold out in seconds so you just missed your chance if you're a buyer of the 30th anniversary collection from play ps from playstation you just missed your chance on it because a system error pretty much that sucks though man i fully have faith that sony is going to release more units though that's just me is it worth noting that if pre-orders are being canceled it is possible there will be a very limited amount of stock made available at this point today so far that has nothing happened though and there is no guarantee that it will happen meanwhile even if it does there's a high chance scalpers with bots will gobble up the any remaining stock immediately how do we stop that man for more playstation 5 coverage including all the latest playstation 5 pro news all of the latest ps5 pro rumors and links and all the latest ps5 pro deals man that sucks man you know what on a positive note let's go over to gamestop's instagram page because i actually seen gamestop actually are trying to trying to help out the fans of sony or whatever as far as the controllers and release them like a hundred i think it's like a hundred every hour or something until the stock is gone let's go over to let's go to instagram is it on gamestop it should be yeah here it is let's see GameStop, shout out to GameStop because they actually are, they actually, well, they actually showing they care about the customer. GameStop Pro Exclusive, PlayStation Third Anniversary, restock. 100 every hour, one per customer starts today, 9 27 24 at 3 p.m. We've clawed back PS5 30th Anniversary controllers from bots and resellers. Shout outs to GameStop, man. 
GameStop wants them in the hand of gamers, restocking at 100 every hour until we run out. Hurry to secure yours now. At the time of this video, if there's any left, head over to GameStop, get you a 30th anniversary controller. Shout out to GameStop for actually caring and going the extra step to make sure that this product gets inside the customer's hands. All right, so my thoughts. Uh, orders being canceled to me is very normal because of high, one, high traffic, two, a lot of people that are buying stuff out of FOMO usually don't make purchases like this. So of course their bank is gonna cancel it, you know? So that could be an issue. I don't know, maybe they're, are they trying to make it tougher for people um, with bot programs or whatever to even get through? Cause I don't know, it, it seems like some people are getting through if they have bot programs, so. But, but the one positive thing about this is that in the last video, I have seen people say that they got their they got their confirmation email and they were able to get through and buy the 30th anniversary collection. So congratulations to you. I'd rather see actual Sony customers, PlayStation customers, get that 30th anniversary collection though, man. Big ups to you, kudos. Overall though, man, was this handled poorly? I don't think it was handled poorly. I think it was handled strategically. I think PlayStation knows exactly what they're doing. You release 12,300 of them, limit a limited amount. You see how many people really want this system and then you backdoor a month or two later during the holidays hey we have more 30th anniversary collections we have these plates to make your playstation look like 30th anniversary collection order yours today i feel like right now they are you know in boxing there's a term called um basically gauging your distance i feel like playstation that's what they're doing right now they're gauging their distance to see what how much how many, as much uh, do people care about this uh, anniversary collection 30th anniversary collection so before they you know start get on offense and start um you know promoting what they're really trying to do you know which is sell to me which is their ultimate goal to sell the playstation pro for 700 dollars then you know they'll bring out 30th anniversary ones because i feel like that 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 skin is going to come back like come on sony would be some fools if they didn't release the the playstation one plates well for people to buy for the playstation pro the playstation slim and the digital it would be silly as well as the controllers though but those are my thoughts the situation has been interesting in the past month when it comes to playstation let me know how you feel though let me know your thoughts on this whole ordeal and if you got a confirmation email let me know if your your can't your order got canceled and let me know if your order didn't get canceled let me know below you already know it's do man's architect mr j with another video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button notification bell like comment share until next time peace